Really quick, on the ASVAB, is it true that you can use the answer choices to your advantage? Is it true? Right, sometimes, for sure. You know, if, if you know what the situation's about, yeah, you can absolutely use the answer choice to your advantage. However, everyone, is it, is it typically better to just know how to do the problem straight up, typically? Right, typically, it's good to know how to do the problem straight up. So, here's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is there are two ways to solve this problem, and I'm gonna show you both of those ways. One is gonna take a more intuitive or common sense approach, and by common sense, I really mean, you know, just using what you see to your advantage. The other way is gonna be by setting up a system of equations. So again, for those of you that are looking at this, this is arithmetic reasoning, unit seven, and this is again, systems of equations. So if you wanna write that down, feel free. Systems of equations. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it here. A party people, here we go. Let's start by using those answer choices to our advantage, but number one, no matter what, we need to do what with every word problem? What's the first thing we do no matter what? Right, first thing we do is gonna be read the question. That's the first thing we want to do. We want to understand what we're being asked to figure out. And that's right over here, my party people. What is the bigger number? Now, again, I'm not asking you to come up with an automatic solution. I'm just asking you really quick. Does that make sense, everybody? It, apparently, we have some numbers and we're looking for the bigger one. Does that make sense? We got a bunch of numbers. We're just looking for the bigger one. Now, I'm not asking you if you know how to do it. I'm just asking you if that piece of literature right there makes sense. What's the bigger number? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, all right, let's write that down, either taking a mental note or writing it on paper. That's fine. I'm looking for the bigger number. Bigger number is blank. Okay, whatever. Now, let's see if we can understand the situation. Okay, the situation says two numbers add up to 59. And then it says their difference is 45. Now that first part's pretty simple. It says two numbers add up to 59. So everybody, is it true that that would mean that we have like some number plus another number equals 59? Is that true? Is that what that means? Two numbers add up to 59? Yeah. Right? Thanks for agreeing with me there. Okay. The other sentence, in green. The next sentence right here in green. Their difference is 45. Everyone, what does the word difference mean? We have to understand that. What does the word difference mean? Landed, thank you. Yeah, difference meaning subtraction. Let's pause really quick because my question is, regardless of whether you think this question is easy or hard, are you prepared to answer more like this? Do you understand everything that you need to know leading up to this, like fractions, decimals? All of these questions that I'm asking you are legitimate questions that every successful ASVAB test taker needs to ask themselves. And so tracking your progress, guaranteeing that you know you're ready, that's the number one way to prepare. And that's why we designed our progress dashboards for the math basics, arithmetic reasoning, and math knowledge. No more do you have to guess and hope for the best in terms of, hey, I practiced for two days straight, I hope I'm ready. You know, that happens way too often and then people move on only to find out that they weren't ready and then time was wasted. So don't waste time. When you have a plan and a progress book like this that's lined up for you from beginning to end, you are absolutely 100% guaranteed to grow. So if you're happy about that or excited, go ahead and click the link in the description of this video or text me at 567-698-8867. Text me asking me about how the program works. I'm more than happy to take time out of my day to make sure that you're successful. So don't waste time. Let's make sure you get the score you want and that job you deserve. Hit me up, click the link in the description, and let's get you in there. So is it fair to say that in green, we could say that you know the bigger number minus the smaller number equals 45? Is that fair? Is that fair? Okay, so if we have this understanding and I'm gonna ask you straight up, even if you were confused about this problem, did those parts make sense? 
did it make sense in the first sentence that two numbers add up to 59? And did it also make sense that subtracting those same two numbers, you get 45? Did that part make sense to you? Okay, good, good. Because if you understood that portion of it, that context, then you're putting yourself in a great position to make that breakthrough. You know, to have that light bulb moment, you're in a great position, so pay attention. So here's what we got. What we have here is everybody, what are we trying to look for again? What are we looking for again? You remind me. Joshua, that's right, we're looking for the bigger number. Thank you, everybody. It's right. So what does that mean then? What do these answer choices represent then? Again, this is a very, very straightforward question, but I want you to answer it just to make sure we're on the same page. Everybody, these answer choices represent what? Yeah, the possible bigger number. We're looking for the bigger number. This represents these choices over here. These represent the bigger number. We just have to figure out which one of these is the right one. But again, these choices are representing the bigger number. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend or use the answer choices to pretend to have the answer. So I'm going to say, hey, let's grab 14. Let's see if 14 can work. Everybody, if I plug in a 14 right there, what number do I have to add to get all the way up to 59? What would the other number have to be? Right, the other number would have to be 45. Everybody, okay. Uh, 14 plus 45, is that 59? It is, it is. But if I went ahead and subtracted these numbers, is 45 minus 14, is that 45? Is that true? Is that true? No, that's not true. So before I continue, are we starting to see how the process of elimination strategy works here? Are you starting to see what we're doing? Cool. And again, I'm showing you the strategy for using the answer choices. I'm going to show you all four choices and find out which one actually fits. But then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you how to do it the straightforward way. Because in many situations, the straightforward way is the faster way. Notice how this will get us the answer eventually, but it might take some time. So this will not work because again, 14, the other number would have to be 45 to add up to 59. But if you take those same numbers, 45 and 14, if you subtract them, you cannot get 45. Not gonna work. So because of that, that's not gonna be the answer. We can move forward and try out the next number. Let's try 52. Everybody, if we try 52, let's go ahead and highlight that in blue there. Okay, everybody, what number plus 52 gives us 59? That'll be seven, that's right. Okay, let's use those same two numbers. Everybody, is a 52 minus seven equal to 45? Ah, it fits the bill, so Four, or 52 plus 7 does give us 59. 52 minus 7 does give us 45. So it looks like what we said about the problem, they add up to 59, they subtract uh, to 45. These numbers work. Everybody, is that number 52, is that the bigger number of the two? It is the bigger number of the two. So that will work. Notice how we had another answer choice here. We had seven, seven was right there. My party people, why is seven not the answer even though seven works? Why is seven not the answer? Because it's the smaller number, exactly. It is the smaller number. So before I kind of go into the next, um, the, the next way to do it, the second way to do it, is that making a little more sense to you? Is this a little more doable? Right on. I'm glad. You know, I'm glad. But remember, the point of this is not to memorize the question and hope for the best. The point of this is to notice the strategy, understand the strategy, and keep it in your tool belt so that you can use it when you need it. If you try to memorize, you're hoping for a one specific situation. But when you understand, you see everywhere it can kind of apply to. So be careful there. I got you. 
Don't memorize, understand. So let's go ahead and understand, again, the other way to do this. So one way, again, was to use process of elimination. The other way is using algebra. And algebra is just a fancy way of saying representing everything with equations and variables. That's all it is. That's all algebra means. Writing it in math, quote unquote. So earlier, you know how we said, hey, blank plus blank equals 59. We kind of use the blank there, right? So instead of using a blank, we'll just use letters. We'll just use letters. And look at how cool this can be. So everybody, if we have two numbers that add up to 59, if it's okay with you, I'll say we'll use A and B. A for one number, B for the other number. So is it okay with you if I write it like this? A plus B equals 59. Is that okay with you? Great, sounds good. So again, A plus B equals 59. Again, that is the first sentence. And let me erase all of this here to give ourselves a shot. Cool, so again, in blue here, again, the two numbers added to 59, that's just me representing that. Second sentence, it says, their difference is 45. So is it fair if I wrote it like this? Let's pretend that A is the bigger number so if we did A minus B equals 45, would that make sense? Again, A is the bigger number. Does that make sense? <laughs> Someone said, I started like that, but then I froze. Perfect. Yeah, I'm not saying perfect that you got it wrong or confused. I'm saying perfect because we just reached the point where you could have that breakthrough. Let's go. Let's see what we got. So we have these equations set up. Okay. Your next question might be, how do we solve this? Is anybody looking at this saying, hey coach, I understand this, but how do I solve this? Is that running through anybody's head right now? Ooh, Landon, I see you've been studying. So my question again is, is anybody confused on where to go after this? Ooh, I love seeing more no's. I was expecting a lot of yeses. Okay. Okay, so for those of you that don't know, here's what we're gonna do. Let me zoom in a little bit. What we're gonna do is we're gonna notice that, hey look, we're looking for the bigger number. That's actually this right here. That's A. That is A. When we have a system of equations, everybody, a system just means we got two equations or more that represent the same things. Both of these equations have A, both of them have B. That's all that means. Two equations that represent the same thing. What we're going to do to solve this system is by taking away or eliminating one of the variables just so we can solve an equation with one. Because we can't solve this equation here by itself. Can't. You got two variables. You can't solve for one of it by itself. Same thing here. You got two variables. Can't solve it. But what I can do is I can actually take them together and I can eliminate the B. Watch this. If I add these equations together, help me out everybody. If I add A plus A, what's that gonna be? Okay, that's gonna be 2A. Okay, sounds good, 2A. My party people, when we have a positive B and a negative B being added together, or B minus B, what ends up happening always? Yeah, it cancels out. If you have an equation and you have five and then you take away five from both sides, cancels out. If you have X and you subtract X from both sides, cancels out. If you have a B and you add a negative B or take away B, cancels out. Let's be real, Mahazbat party people. You're enjoying this YouTube video, but why don't you join me for a free class? I host a free class once a week for two hours. So imagine, Two hours of free ASVAB math instruction by yours truly, where you get to ask questions, grow with me, raise your score, and get the job you want. So go ahead, click the link here or in the description to sign up for free. And from there, I'll see you in the next class. But until then, let's get back to the math party. So this is gone. And just to make it more clear in terms of that cancellation, let me erase all that. And then lastly, we have 59 plus 45. Okay, that might be a little bit of work, but let's go ahead and do it. 59 plus 45, 9 plus 5, that's going to be 14. 
5 plus 4, that's going to go ahead and be 9. Carry that 1 is going to be 10. So we have 104. Okay. We're not done yet, though. Because if we're trying to solve for A, all we got to do now is do what to both sides? Right. Now we just divide both sides by 2, and this is what opens everything up for us. We divide by 2 on both sides. That cancels out, and we're left with A equals 52. And remember, in the beginning, we said that A is the bigger one, because if you're subtracting B, well, then B is the smaller one. So we said that we are using A as the bigger one. We got A equals 52. Are we done? Yeah, and we are done. The answer is B, 52. Now, I saw a question there saying, hey, are we always using the smaller one? Are we always trying to find the bigger number? No. They can give you any information any which way, my party people, any which way. It's really up to you to understand how to set up the equations from the words they give you. That's why if you're using the strategy of, let me just use the answer choices, well, you better be sure you know what those words mean in the sentence. You got to know what they mean because you have to know how to set it up regardless. So you see what I'm saying, everybody? No matter what, you have to know how to set up these equations to use the answer choices or to go through it algebraically like we did here. Either way, you have to know how to set it up. So when do we plug back into the equation? So Jocelyn, the reason that we're not going back and plugging into the equation is because remember Jocelyn, the goal of this problem was to find the bigger number, right? It says find the bigger number and here we set up A as the bigger number. So because of that, we don't have any more work to do. But if the question said, find the smaller number, then in that situation, we would continue by plugging the A back in so we can find B. My party people, as always, thanks for watching. Please make sure you're subscribed to the channel. That way you can see all the updates that we come out with so you can keep improving. So don't wait, subscribe now. And then while you wait for the next video, look here or there to see a related video that's gonna help you improve even more. Let's keep raising that score and let's get the job we want. I'll see you soon.